Hello there, my name is Lukram and welcome to episode 3 of Spacebound Tips and Tricks. Today we are looking at the EMP launcher. So let's get right into it, shall we? As we learned from the general video of tips and tricks on Spacebound, the EMP launcher has a bit of a longer cooldown than the rockets. The rockets having the 5 second cooldown and the EMP launcher the 6 second cooldown. This means that we are not gonna be spamming these unless we build a little something. And that's exactly what I have done. Alright, this was the first prototype. It has 16 EMP launchers and a binary counter to it. And with it, you can shoot relatively fast, uh, but yeah, uh, this is the first prototype and I've got something a lot better. This is the binary counter system, and this one counts up to 32. The counter consists of two parts. This main part is the counter, and this whole bunch of AND gates are the decoders that decrypt the output that comes uh, in binary and they put it out in a linear fashion. And uh, yeah, here is the, this little bit is the stepper process, so it takes the space input and it repeats it. So you can just hold it and it goes through the 32 steps. The top row I did them XORs to have easy access to classification, but uh, these top ones uh, can be OR gates, it doesn't matter. The bottom ones do need to be XOR gates because what we're doing is we're taking this output and the red ones are all on toggle and they output to an OR gate and the XOR gate and this altitude sensor is outputting to the bottom XOR gates and what that means is that this bottom XOR gates have become NOR gates and NOR gates what essentially do is a switcheroo so if this one is active this one is off and if this one is off this one is on and with that we can easily check which one is on and which one is off this OR gate is to step it to the next little bit because uh, this stays on but we want it to be a small pulse that goes to the next toggle gate uh, so this repeats the same for the whole process and the decoder the way it works is the AND gate goes to the headlight that corresponds to it and the inputs that go into the AND gate are the combinations of on and off states from this counter bit uh, for example for the zero we will need to have the all the gates on the off state which is the red one then for the next one we're gonna need the first bit on the on state and the rest on the off state that goes to the next one that's how you go adding this it's a tedious process but once you do it it works perfectly fine and uh, yeah you just gotta know a little bit how to count in binary which is adding these values so for number six for example you would need a2 and a4 so you grab the 2 and the 4 and then the rest that's how you go collecting all the hand gates that's basically it for the counter and what you can do with that is hook them up to EMP launchers so I have here 32 EMP launchers and each hand gate goes to a EMP launcher the things you need to check is the, they need to have a little bit of delay. I found out that 0.06 was okay for this setup and a little bit of duration so they don't keep shooting after you stop holding the shoot key. You can see it shoots very fast. And with that, I gave you the satellite. Uh, yeah, this is a little build I made that has the 32 EMP launchers on the counter system. 
I also added a way to shoot them all at once. So if I press fourth, just shotgun set them off. This is very satisfying. And I'm just gonna go kill a little bit of these pirates because the EMP can defeat pirates. And we start blasting. That was. And yeah, that's the main benefit of being able to spam these EMPs because if you miss, you can just keep shooting. Uh, it's very fun, uh, but also it's not very fair. Ooh, that was a close one. There we go. And as you can see, it's quite easy to get them. Uh, another thing that is kind of important to know about the EMPs, which uh, this excels at, is disabling shields. Because you can stack the shields, and yeah, an EMP shot disables only one shield, so having stacked shields is a pretty good strategy against one or two EMP launchers, but with this you can just disable everything. So, uh, this was a bit of a short one, but this is not the only thing you could do with a counter. Uh, another type of counter is very useful for changing other stuff, but I'm going to cover that in my future logic guide, which is coming real soon. Uh, yeah, with that, bye!